Iranian state TV says Mahmoud Ahmadinejad has been approved as the next president of Iran by the leader of the Islamic Revolution ahead of his inauguration on Wednesday. Retaining power means for many Iran will remain a country with a nuclear threat. His aggressive rhetoric against Israel makes many in Jerusalem concerned over what they see as the biggest menace facing the Jewish state. RT's Paula Slear reports. Israel's attack on Iraq's nuclear reactor 28 years ago was bold. Fighter jets flew undetected before dropping 16 bombs over the Osirak nuclear plant near Baghdad. The reactor was destroyed, but there were no Israeli casualties. Despite continuing debate, the mission commander is convinced that the then Iraqi leader Saddam Hussein had nuclear ambitions. We knew we are, we are the team that's going to stop it, to destroy this threat. And now, nearly 30 years later, Israelis feel they are again under threat. But the focus has shifted to Iran and whether they should repeat the strike that was so successful three decades ago. But times have changed. It's a much more complicated situation now, uh, tactically and strategically. Tacti tactically, the, there is no one target that you can destroy and stop the project. Then many parts of the project are deep under the ground, under mountains. So many of them are not proper targets for oil power. Israeli aircraft have been holding simulation long-distance combat sorties in the United States. There is speculation a facility has been built in southern Israel to shield its own nuclear reactor if the Iranians counter-attack. Iran uh, is continuing to advance uh, their military uh, uh, capability, uh, nuclear military capability. And uh, Iran has uh, a radical uh, regime. It is uh, an existential threat against the state of Israel. Israelis are used to coping with the threat of war, but when the threat is on their borders, Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad's anti-Israeli rhetoric and boasts of long-range ballistic missiles capable of hitting the Jewish state have Israelis worried. If negotiations between Iran and the United States fail, if sanctions don't work, and if, the third most important if, the United States decides that it's in its interest for a military attack against Iran's nuclear installations, then I think chances for a military strike by Israel and the United States or Israel alone would significantly increase. But more and more Israelis are not prepared to risk it. Hundreds of families have installed nuclear bunkers in their homes to protect them against a possible Iranian attack. Oi Rakib uses his family's bunker as a music studio. At 2,000 square feet and costing half a million dollars, it can hold 25 people for two weeks. With walls thicker than a normal bomb shelter, it has a special system to block radioactive fallout. I hope to think that it's just a bunch of propaganda and it's some sort of cold war, but... Uh... Hell, if there is, <laughs> I'm lucky. I'm gonna just keep playing, so. <laughs> the Israeli parliament says half a billion dollars has been spent on a nuclear shelter in the Jerusalem hills. There, an Israeli war cabinet could run the country in a nuclear attack from Iran. Paul Slea, RT, Israel.